Hi, here's something interesting that maybe you didn't already know. This is a copper wire and this is an iron wire. When I twist the ends of the two wires together and then heat them up in a flame, an electrical voltage is produced. Now not a very big voltage, mind you, but it's a voltage just the same. Now, I guess if I had enough of these copper and iron junctions and heated them up in a big bonfire, I could produce enough electricity, perhaps, to run a machine. In fact, that's how some space probes generate electricity. This is a picture of the Cassini probe, the one that explored the rings of Saturn. The energy from long-lasting radioisotopes, radioactive isotopes, heated up a bunch of metal junctions, and those junctions, through the thermoelectric effect, provided the electricity needed to run the onboard radios. Okay, let's test it out. I've attached the ends of the wires to my voltmeter. Right now, the voltmeter shows that no voltage is being generated. Now, I'm going to hold the junction of the thermocouple in the candle flame. So, I need to light the candle. I'm going to push the junction into the candle flame and let it heat up. Look, already a voltage is being generated. The hotter that thermocouple gets, that is, the hotter that junction gets, the more voltage is produced. When I remove the junction from the flame, you can see the voltage goes away. In the flame, voltage, no flame, no voltage. That's the thermoelectric effect.